Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Photoshop CS5 Extended how to create basic logo and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a logo similar to this one obviously you'll be able to change the colors and shapes and text whatever you want to use I'll probably also provide a, t provide a template for this tutorial that you'll be able to download and then you can change the things that you like if you don't want to follow along with the tutorial so let's get started so first thing I want to do is I want to close this and then we're going to create a new document with this logo I will also show you how to save it so the background is transparent and then you'll be able to put it on your videos or on different documents that you have created so what we're going to do we're going to create a new document and we're going to be creating it at about 1024 pixels should do it by 1024 pixels about 150 pixels per square inch should do it so here's my new document as you noticed I've changed that my tools are down here because it's easier for me to um, have everything together I also changed the background color that you can do by right clicking and then click custom and then um, select your color right here so the first thing I want to do is I want to unlock my background layer and we're just going to give it some sort of uh, color overlay just so it's easier for us to see what we're doing I'm just going to pick dot gray click OK so how we're going to start off this is by creating um, some shapes and then duplicating them and then adding the text and adding different effects to it so the first thing we want to do is we want to pick our polygonal tool right here so if you click and drag and select that one another thing that we will also need is rulers so if you press ctrl r on your keyboard your rulers will appear or you can go to view and click rulers right here so what we want to do is put this one roughly in the middle like so and then put out another one and put it roughly in the middle again right so now you can start creating a basic shape so if you pull your cursor, cursor right to the middle hold down shift and then drag as you can see my shape will start to appear so that should do it I think maybe a little bit smaller let go and then your shape is filled in so you got a basic shape well, I want to do next is just duplicate this layer click OK and then press Control T which is free transform and then flip it vertically alright pretty straightforward and then you want to pull this down to about here so this edge shows right here and it doesn't come out on these edges alright press enter and then now what I want to do is move it a little bit up so if you hold down shift click on both shapes select your move tool which is um, V on your keyboard and then just move it up a little bit like so alright so we got both of our shapes select, um, created now what we want to do is I want a little um, triangle right here as well so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our shape again um, duplicate layer there we go and then I'm just going to turn this actually you can do it by control T rotate 90 degrees clockwise and then up here you want to change the transform to about 50% okay so height 50% width 50% then press OK on your keyboard like so and it have transformed it right so probably it is a bit smaller than what we want it to be so I'll just make it bigger press control Z to go back rotate it again and then just make it, I don't know, 75% smaller should do the trick I think, let's have a look if I move this right here, no it's still too big let's try 60% shall we 60% mm, 
yeah that looks about right to me so 60% will do the trick and also make sure that these little boxes will line up with your rulers alright press and tear and then it has transformed the shape now what I want to do is I want to duplicate this again and then put it on the other side so we have duplicated it rotate 180 degrees put it to the other side press enter and now we have our basic shape that we're going to be using for our logo so what we're going to do, we're going to merge all these shapes right click if you hold down shift and then drag it obviously um, selects all your layers so what we're going to do, we're going to merge these layers into one shape okay so next what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate this layer again like so and press Control T on your keyboard again to free transform and we're going to change the scale again to 90% this time okay so high and width to 90% press enter like so and now if we change the color of this you'll see that it has made a nice little edge around our shape so I'll just make this different color so you can see that I'll make it dark grey like this one and next what we're going to do we're going to duplicate this layer again control T to free transform 90% Ooh, not 920 90% and height 90% too press enter it has transformed your shape and we're going to change this color to to another color maybe this one like so so as you can see we have our three basic shapes and we've got a nice little edge another edge and then the main in a bit okay so probably this is a good time to save so we're just going to go wherever we want to save this create a new folder logo PSD and this is where I'm going to save my PSD file like so and now if we make any changes we can just press Control S and it automatically saves your logo and you're not going to have any issues also so now that we've got our three um, shapes that we want to use we're just going to apply some uh, gradient overlay and drop shadow and all that good stuff to make it look better I'll probably change my background colour here to a bit lighter colour just so you can see the drop shadow and all that good stuff um, that should do it I think like so and then double click on your layer the bottom one which is this one the outer edge and you can take drop shadow in the shadow and gradient overlay alright so for your drop shadow you'll probably need 5 pixels and just change it to I think I will change it to normal 100% I might change the distance to a bit bigger um, about 7 pixels should do the trick size 5 pixels and then for any shadow you're going to change this to normal again 100% like so distance you can play around with this you can make it a bit bigger or a bit smaller but I'll stick with um, 5 pixels size 5 pixels might be able to make it a bit bigger mm, 10 pixels let's have a look how that looks no 5 pixels should do the trick okay and for your gradient overlay I got many gradients right here but you can pick whatever you like um, and make up your own one as well but just for the sake of this tutorial wait we'll create one from scratch so this is your basic gradient and we're just gonna these are stops you're gonna double click this and just pick a light grey color and for your other stop right here you're just gonna pick a little bit lighter one I'll probably make this one a bit darker like so 
yeah they should do the trick and instead of doing the same thing to the next shape that we want to apply it to we'll just right click the layer copy layer style and then click on the layer that you want to paste it onto which is this one this main one and we're gonna paste the layer style like so alright so now you've got your basic shape some nice effects it's looking pretty neat and you can change the inner ring to a different color if you like so let's have a look you can change it to red or you can also apply a gradient I advise you to do so maybe to an a nice ish green green or blue whatever you prefer I will just go with a dark darkish grey for now alright so now that you got your shape sorted what you want to do you want to apply your text to it so for the sake of this tutorial I'll just create a new text instead of creating my um, my logo so what you want to do you just want to drag out a box with your text shape which is T on your keyboard and then type in your text I'll just go with Laz and you want to make your text a lot bigger, probably about 200, no, maybe even bigger, 300, no, too big, 250. Yep, that should do it. And then you can change your fonts or you can download fonts to whatever you feel like you like. Okay, so I'll just go with this font which is called Lager 9 and just change the size again to about. 200 pixels and if I just make my box bigger it will come up right there where I want it to be okay so you got your logo I mean your text right here and then what you want to do you want to hold down control alt click on the layer now it makes a selection around your layer and for your top shape which is this inner one you're gonna hold down alt and then click the little layer mask button right here on the bottom okay like so and now what you can do you can move this around if you click this little chain right here okay click this chain and then click on your layer mask and if you select your move tool you can move around your text or resize it to wherever you want it to be within your shape okay so now we got our text sorted as well so you can play around more with the um, with the colors so I can make this green into a different sort of uh, color I will just go with this dark gray for now and this is what my logo looks like well pretty close to this okay and then you can hide your rulers by control H and now I'm just going to change my um, background color to a different gradient which is this one right here and I have my logo created and what you want to do you can save this as a PNG without the background and it will be transparent okay and the way you do that you're gonna have to turn off the background and you're probably gonna have to turn off the drop shadow on t on this layer as well so if you turn off drop shadow and then come here save share save for web and devices and it will save it as a PNG and as you can tell my background is going to be transparent okay so now if I save this as a PNG onto my um, folder logo new folder PNG if I just come down here and find my logo which should be somewhere here there we go PNG 
and as you can tell my background is right right here but it is transparent so if I want to put it on a on another document then you can do so alright so this is it for this tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial